Kevin? Hey. What are you doing over there? Wrestling with aluminum. This is a, a big public sculpture I'm working on at the moment. And I was just trying to fill in this little seam right here. So I gotta hold this together and get the spool gun over there and give it a little zap so I can come back with the TIG welder later on and do all my little finish welding all along here. The first thing I gotta do is put a ground on. See, I got a problem. Come here, I'll show you. So you see the problem I have here on the, this is my Miller 251 uh, MIG welder. I've got it set up with the spool gun because I'm using doing aluminum, but I've got a magnetic ground on it. it won't stick to the aluminum. Hmm. Okay. So what I wanted to talk about was grounds. Got to be grounded all the time. I've got a metal table, so I could just hook it right to the metal table if I had to. But it's always best to have the ground on your work instead of on your table, because if you put it here on your table and you're over here working on your piece, especially in the summer, like here in Arizona, and you get all hot and sweaty while you're welding, you can lean up against the table and get shocked because the current wants to go through you to ground rather than through the table back to the machine. So it's always best to have your ground on the work. Hmm. I don't have aluminum magnets. Wait a minute. But I do have clamps. So all you need to do is just put a clamp on your work. Anything that you can get your magnet to stick to. Now you got a good ground. Now you're safe. Nobody else is going to get shocked. And you can get your work done. And having the ground on the metal, on your piece itself, you got a good ground, you got a good path for the current, you get a better weld. Now most people have a, a clamp ground anyhow, don't they? Well, most people have the, the old squeeze clamps that, like I've got on the on the, the TIG welder, a Miller TIG welder over there. It's just a regular uh, spring clamp, I think they call it. And those would work here. It's just that the one that I had on the MIG welder burned up. I was doing some, some high you know, some high amp welding, 150 amps worth of welding on the, the piece of the three quarter inch plate steel and I overheated it and it cracked and I didn't have to change it. So I thought, well, let me try the magnet. So speaking of trying the magnet, well, let me get back to work. So we just put a, this is a, a cant twist clamp. They call it that because of the way it's built, but it's got these great uh, copper blocks which make it really conductive for electricity. And it also helps when you keep you from welding the clamp to metal. <laughs> Been there, done that. So I can just put it down low on the metal somewhere where it's out of the way. Put my ground on there, get my helmet, get to work. Speaking of that, I'll see you next time.